It is certainly less than a terrific Tuesday outside. It's cloudy, it's damp, and it's dreary. Could just slap a big Mr. Yuck sticker on this Tuesday afternoon. Uh, despite the dreary weather today, I hope you are having an outstanding, a terrific Tuesday afternoon. Going to try to make this a little shorter than usual today um, because I do have some uh, hockey commitments that I need to tend to this afternoon, but you'll still get the full whiteboard forecast, but we're just going to move along a little more quickly than we normally do. That said, let us start the show as, I think I need new glasses, by the way. These ones are crooked. Maybe I should start GoFundMe for new glasses. What do you think? Um, anyway, <laughs> let's start the show. Good Brother Earl, here we go. Pirates won last night. whiteboard weather. Good brother Earl says it's best. Uh, saw a lot of you checking in reporting rain from your neighborhood this afternoon. Everyone at some point has seen some rain. Uh, it's not raining in all locations at the moment but a uh, number of places it is and that threat is going to remain as we head down through the rest of this afternoon and into uh, this evening. Um, that said, we will move forward with a little bit of information. As always, I invite you to check out PittsburghWeatherNow.com, your one-stop shop for all kinds of weather information. In addition, we have a expanding photo gallery we add to rather frequently. Your fun fact of the day, it's, uh, uh, what am I calling it, Sensational Solar Facts Week, uh, dealing with little facts about the sun today deals with the temperature of the sun so check out that fun fact of the day uh, always there is a link to our whiteboard weather merchandise and um, lots of other good stuff right there on the home page so visit pittsburghweathernow.com allergies today running in the low range the rain has done at least some good in knocking down those ragweed levels um, and not that you're going to see it tonight but the moon is approaching full moon status. I saw some of you said, what's up with the rain? Uh, quite honestly, we haven't seen that much rain. Only six of 13 days this month have included measurable rain, so it has been a little drier um, at least this first two weeks of August than uh, a lot of June and July were. Uh, born on this day, Alfred Hitchcock, and our weather certainly would coincide with Alfred Hitchcockian. Is that a word? weather. Um, Annie Oakley born on this day as well, as well as golf legend Ben Hogan, uh, also a uh, golfing uh, broadcaster. You probably know his uh, his Irish accent, David Faraday. Oh, don't you know it? That's a fine shot there. And um, Mr. Tiny Bubbles, Don Ho, was born on this day. Um, I'm sure you remember that song, Tiny Bubbles. Uh, today's National Filet Mignon Day, and it's also National Left-Handers Day today. We talked a little bit about that this morning. 12% of the world's population is left-handed. So, if you're left-handed, today is your day, and we celebrate 
you. Uh, let us get to some weather information. We will start with a look at our current radar and you will see showers scattered about the area. Some of a little bit more moderate variety. You can see in through parts of the South Hills, Pittsburgh on south down toward uh, Mount Lebanon, Dormont, even down toward West Mifflin, Clareton. The rain has picked up just in the last probably 30 minutes. Uh, also some rain showing up across southern sections of Beaver County and parts of Washington County and more training in behind it. So as you get further north, uh, generally a lighter rain falling in parts of Armstrong, Indiana County and up near the Interstate 80 corridor. Overall, it is drizzly and miserable, so we call that drizzlable <laughs> weather conditions across the area. And I would watch this area right in here. You can see where some of these Again, showers are what we call training or following one another, almost like a, a train coming through. There could be some high water issues, primarily uh, on area roadways. So if you're going to be out driving late this afternoon, keep that in mind. Uh, that if you encounter a roadway that has some high water on it, just find another way. Uh, turn around, don't drown is the saying. Temperatures haven't moved much due to the clouds and the occasional rain. 70 is the current temperature south wind at five miles an hour and the dew point temperature is at 68 so light winds and a, a really close uh, proximity of the air temperature and the dew point uh, probably going to see some areas of patchy fog as we head down through tonight especially here's the setup quickly on the surface map uh, we do have this area of low pressure attached to this boundary we're kind of in Almost a, a, a convergence zone, if you will, where we have that wave of low pressure and a boundary to the north that's collapsing in from the north. That should give at least a decent push to that wave of low pressure to the south later tonight. And I think tomorrow most of that action is off to our south. So I expect that most of tomorrow for most of us will be rain free. The exception tomorrow could be areas south of I-70. Even there, probably not more than just a spotty shower. So I think your Wednesday will be a vast improvement over today. Now Thursday, as we move ahead, this is Thursday morning. You'll notice that boundary is down to the south. That's not an issue anymore. But there'll be one more disturbance crossing the area Thursday afternoon. That is this area of low pressure. I think that could bring with it a period of some numerous showers Thursday afternoon before high pressure builds in behind it and generally dry conditions for the weekend. So, all that said, let us quickly head over to the whiteboard for today, and I'll break it all down for you. Your sunrise and sunset times. 821 is when we go down with the sun tonight. Sunrise, 629 tomorrow morning. Again, the moon is still in a called waxing gibbous phase, but it is 95% full the official full moon happens Wednesday night into Thursday morning, so we're about two days away from the official full moon. As I said, six of 13 days this month have had measurable rain, and we talked about this on earlier summer editions of whiteboard weather. I indicated that with all the rain that we had in spring and early summer, we'd be hard-pressed to see many 90-degree days. Well, lo and behold, if whiteboard weather didn't alert you, we only have had two 90 degree days so far this summer, July 2nd and July 20th. Both were exactly 90 degrees. The average is about seven. So we haven't had an especially hot summer, at least in terms of 90 plus degree temperatures. Tonight, an evening shower chance. I think it's going to be best before eight o'clock and then just clouds will linger with patchy fog overnight, 66 the low. Tomorrow, partly sunny skies. Again, could be a little murky in the morning, but clouds will give way to sunshine. The spotty shower chance will be in the afternoon, mainly for areas south of I-70, 81. I think everyone else will stay dry tomorrow. Then muggy with clouds tomorrow night, 62. On Thursday, partly sunny. I think there'll be a period of showers in the afternoon with that second disturbance coming across. And then after that Thursday disturbance crosses, I think we're in good shape through the weekend. Friday, clouds and sunshine, 80. 
Saturday, mostly sunny in 84, and Sunday, partly cloudy skies and 85 degrees. So it looks like at this point, the weekend should be mainly rain-free, and that will be five of the last six weekends that we've had rain-free conditions for the weekend. So that is a look at your whiteboard for a dreary Tuesday afternoon. Um, I thank you for checking in. As always, I ask you to please share Whiteboard Weather with your Facebook friends. Please share it. It's just very quick. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll post it. And all you have to do is click the share button. We want to continue to grow our Whiteboard Weather uh, community. So I would appreciate your uh, help with that. Um, that is going to do it for today. Keep the umbrella handy the rest of today with some of those showers that are propagating. I was always told never to use that word on TV. Propagating. They said, eh, it sounds like it's it's too big of a word. Propagating means moving. Showers are propagating <laughs> across the area. Now, I don't have to worry about somebody telling me what I can and can't say. So showers are propagating across the area. I'm glad I can use that. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh, as always, I appreciate you checking in. Uh, I will talk to you bright and early again tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. for Wake Up Whiteboard Weather. Uh, and then we're on every day at 3 o'clock, as you know, as well. Have yourself a great rest of this Tuesday afternoon. And uh, I will talk to you again first thing tomorrow morning. Peace.